Today I'm here to talk to you about breathing. As wind players, our lungs play an extremely important role. And that's why it's very important for us to keep them clean and healthy. So please don't smoke, ever. Breathing correctly doesn't come natural for most people. You, when you're stressed, you can find yourself breathing like this. <sighs> or, worse yet, not breathing at all, holding your breath. Pay attention to see how many times a day you have to remind yourself to take a deep breath. Let's look at what a good breath looks like. Put one hand on your stomach and put another hand on your chest. Now relax and take a deep breath. Does your stomach come out first before your chest? Or did your chest rise and fall without your hand coming out from your stomach at all? A good deep breath means your abdomen is relaxing and expanding. You might even feel it in your back as well. For some people, their stomach moves, but their chest doesn't move at all. For me, a deep breath means my chest moves, but only after my abdomen. A clear way to recognize a good breath is when you go to sleep at night. Lie on your back and relax. I bet your tummy rises and falls with every breath that you take and your shoulder doesn't move at all. That's a really good relaxed breath. Now, when we turn 35, our lungs start, our lung capacity start to deteriorate. Our muscles become weaker, so we have to exercise them to keep them strong, just like every other part of our body. Our diaphragm muscle is in charge of our lungs. It's right here, and it looks like a giant mushroom head that separates our chest from our abdomen. In order to increase our lung capacity, we can do a diaphragm stretching exercise. Actors do this exercise to calm them down. Let's do this exercise together. I set my metronome to 60, so that's one click for every second. Relax. Now, take a deep breath through your mouth for five counts. Hold it, don't let it out. Now, pack it down towards your diaphragm muscle, as if you were trying to fart. Take another breath on top of it. And pack that down as well. And take one more breath on top of that, if you can. Hold it for eight counts. Now, pursing your lips, let the air out slowly for eight counts. Okay, pursing, pursing your lips like this is teaching your body to get used to the compression that we will feel when we play our instruments. Each musician feels a different amount of compression depending on their instrument and depending on their setups. Oboes feel a lot of compression because of their tiny reeds. Flutes almost feel no compression at all, so they have to build compression using their embouchure. Even clarinet players can differ from each other depending on how hard their reeds feel or their setup. But you can prove to yourself that this exercise is working by playing an open G Set your metronome to 60, and then take a deep breath and hold your open G. Keep in mind how long you can hold your open G for. Now, do the exercise. And after you do the exercise, set your metronome to 60 again and try to hold the open G. I bet you've been able to increase, increase the length of your open G by quite a bit. Do this exercise once or twice a day while you're first learning, and breathing deeply will become a really healthy habit for you. Good luck.